you for joining in uh, and i'm sure these one and a half hours will make a huge difference in your and your child's life uh and first of all i would like start this session by thanking uh, rohini and avi learning foundation for this idea and making this happen uh, today uh, being a sunday uh, we'll be together for about next one and a half hours and uh, so i'll start off with telling you a bit about uh, parvarish and and we start off from there so uh parvarish has been working with parents teachers and children for the last uh, almost a decade actually more than a decade and what parvarish is all about is uh, there on your screen we are about happy healthy successful and secure children uh and as i said these words uh, happy healthy successful and secure uh, don't change into them as, uh, as words as i'm saying it related to your own children related to your own parenting your children being happy uh, and we distinguish between happy and happiness and pleasure we are not talking about pleasure here pleasure is like i get my chocolates today i got my game today i I I got something today and became happy that is pleasure happiness is something internal where you have the power to be happy in your life and your child being healthy physically mentally emotionally socially spiritually they being successful they loving what they do they're passionate about it and they're successful in what they're doing in their life uh, be it today be it tomorrow be it their studies be it their career uh, and they're successful in their personal life and they're secure financially Uh, physically mentally emotionally they are secure if you look at these four words and really imagine your child being that this is what parenting is all about this parvarish is all about and that is what parvarish as an organization is all about and we know that we as an organization as a as as a concern we can't do it alone we have to partner with and that's what we do and one of the very critical elements of parvarish is the second line of the vision which i really want you to experience right now also as you're on the call like you having joy and fulfillment in day to day parenting and to get a sense of that uh, my request would be just take 10 seconds and close your eyes and see bring to your mind that time when you held your first born in your arms for the very first time the child may be 18 right now or 5 right now or 10 right now just imagine bring that moment when you held your child in your arms for the first time the nurse or the doctor gave the child in your arms for the first time how was that experience i'm sure right now it brings those memories back and a smile on your face it was like fulfilling it was beautiful some of you must have gone through that labor pain managed themselves and they got all getting hooked on to it their language is getting changed the way they talk to people uh and there have been many times when we decide on their time we get down together they don't stick to it and when we explain to them what is social media that definition is very very difficult the definition of screen time because these days homework is happening on that the school communications are happening on that the project work is happening on that uh, the connections are happening on that they're playing on it they're watching serials everything from food to school everything is happening on on screen so as a parent it gets very difficult for us to define what is screen time uh and as parents we can never compete with screens when we take off screens and our children say we are bored it gets like we can't compete with the pace and the entertainment which screens provide and when they said they get bored we don't have any other option but to give it back to them then there is this whole question which we get that do we need to be strict when can we need to, when do we want to we need to be straight when can i leave it how much should i leave it and a lot of parents also share that they get attracted to the person who has a gadget somebody who comes in has a gadget in their hand the children are getting attracted to that person then we are spending a lot of time ourselves on screens and parents they are also using this screen time as feeding time so when we have to feed our children we switch on that uh either the screen which could be a tv which could be uh, youtube videos and i've seen that myself uh, parents doing it for for a 9 month old parents doing that for a 1 year 1 and 1/2 year old because once their attention goes on to the screen 
it's easier to feed them. So we are ourselves using it to feed them and that's turning out to be more difficult to wean off later. The children are getting aggressive, they could lie, they hide themselves. Uh, they watch these stuff, they get onto these gadgets while they are in the, in the washrooms. They go to their grandparents, their grandparents allow them because grandparents too are on that. Uh, and that whole fear of their using inappropriate software, websites, how do we really solve them, right? Uh, there will be more, I am sure, uh, which you have been struggling with. Uh, but this is what our issues are and, and, and this is going out of hand. Children are spending more time on screens and social media and their interactions with us is getting smaller and lower. Uh, and their interactions, their social interactions, all of it is getting impacted. And we as parents are struggling in terms of how do you get them back into reality of life. So when all of this is happening, all these issues are happening at home and we are seeing it and by the way in these times we are seeing it more because we are at home all the time. Uh, my, my question would be uh, for you to just reflect on when all of that is happening as a parent what are you personally going through? What is your child experiencing? What's your experience? For example, what are the stress levels you have? At these times, our stress levels go out of the roof. There is a lot of shouting happening and there's whole fear around what will happen in the lives. And by the way, if you really see, even they are stressed. Even they come back to us saying, leave us alone. Don't do much. And we, when we see that happening in front of our eyes with our own children, it's very difficult. It's almost impossible for us to stop ourselves. So there is a high amount of stress at these levels. What happens to the relationship at these times? Like five minutes back, we were talking about that whole experience of holding that child in our arms for the first time. It was one of the most beautiful moments of our life and we are right now fighting, having altercations with the same child and that child is answering back, not talking properly, not listening to us. The relationship between parents and children and children and parents both get spoiled at this particular time when this is happening. And by the way, that's the child you are here on this webinar for also. Like we go any length to make anything happen for our children. Like if I ask you who's the most important person in your life, you would say your child. And we can do anything, we can die for that. But at this time, the relationship is bad. And there are times when we think, hey, why did I have a kid? Why did I? Why did you get born? And even kids say that, why are you like this? My friend's mother is better, my friend's father is better. Why do, why do you have to be so strict? And then there is whole fear of the future, the fear of damaging, the fear of being less, feeling incompetent and feeling that, am I doing enough? Am I doing it right? What will happen if this goes on and they damage themselves? So the fear of the present, the fear of the future, the fear of am I doing it right is all, all there. And that in turn has started impacting our physical health, their physical health. Our headaches, our blood pressure, suddenly you see that moment happening because we are not happy and we are concerned about them. And as that is happening, uh, words like fulfillment and joy and pleasure of parenting, pleasure of being in a family just fly out of the window. Mm -hmm. and, and there is no peace of mind. So if you really see the impact of all this happening is huge on both us and the children. So, so let's deep dive straight away into finding a solution and my request would be hang on. This is a process. It will take the next almost an hour to make it happen. Uh, definitely you would have questions and if you have those questions you can uh, ask us uh, either through these sessions or even through uh, what we are through our website, our uh, Facebook page. You can contact us. We'll be free to answer free, free to answer these questions. So what about screens? My first question to you for you to inquire and figure out 
this whole screen thing, this whole smartphone thing, this whole social media thing, is it a boon or a bane? ये एक श्राप है या एक वरदान है एंड आई एम श्योर बोथ ऑफ बोथ फिल अपियर टू बी ट्रू राइट नाउ एंड यू राइट इट्स अ बून एंड अ बेन सो लेट्स लुक एट एग्जामिन एंड सी एंड गेट प्रेजेंट टू द बेन साइड ऑफ इट फर्स्ट वाई आर वी ऑन दिस कॉल इज बिकॉज दिस level of damage happening to us and our children and the world at large let's spend some time to really see what are the issues what is the damage what is happening to us and our children and the world at large because of screens the damaging side of it and then we we'll look at the boon side a bit later so i'm not saying it's not a boon it's a great boon also but let's examine it one by one uh so being on the social media being on these tabs phones laptops pcs has a huge impact on our physical health our outdoor activities have been reduced if you really look around uh, there's a park in front of our house that we used to be when we were kids we used to be fighting for space to play there right now those parks are empty not just at these times when we are not allowed to go out but they are empty then there's no children playing in the parks now and this has a huge impact on their physical health their stamina the vitamin d has become one of the biggest deficiency and that is purely because children don't spend time in the sun if we test 100 people today for vitamin d i'm i'm sure 90 of them will have a deficit the socialization is happening virtual it's only virtual social socialization we have thousands of friends on facebook instagram but do we do they have good friends the answer is no when we when I, when we and I, there were times when i see children playing in the park the four of them sitting on the benches playing in the park on their screens they're playing the same game together but they're on their screen we go out for dinners and you watch family sitting on a on a table all of them would be socializing on their own smartphones with their virtual friends mm -hmm. there's no communication happening with the real people sit sitting in right in front social skills are getting we are lacking social skills social etiquette is going down we don't even acknowledge people sitting around it's impacting our emotional health the aggression the excessive aggression the language the emotional up he will be go through the damage of that is so huge emotionally uh the exposure to inappropriate content exposure to porn children are getting exposed to all this at a very 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 early age uh the kind of uh, serials the kind of series they watch they don't watch indian series they watch series of the us the kind of language and the content it has it's a very different culture mm -hmm. there it's a very different culture in other countries and and they're getting exposure to that and mind you any kind of a parenting uh, a parent locking or a parental controls on any of these uh, uh, gadgets really does not work they really know how to crack them you can switch off the wifi and i know of children who who hack the wifi from their neighbors because all that is available they can do all that stuff they're far faster than that uh, i've even had parents complaining that we have a, a finger uh, recognition the uh, and we have the face recognition locks on our gadgets but what children do is when you're sleeping they get your finger to touch the phone and take the phone away and i've even seen children who do a face recognition when you're sleeping and boom the gadget opens so there is impossible to manage all this stuff uh, it's impacting their thinking ability anything which is available any question you want to answer ask google so people spending less time thinking creating answers researching on their own experimenting is really gone because all of that is available on a click of a button through google and because of the fast paced stuff which are happening on the screen studies have become boring we need high action we need amazing 
uh, visuals, uh, your audio needs to be stuff which is very attractive, which is fast, which is moving. Suddenly when you get into your classroom, which has 40 minutes on a single topic and one teacher, it suddenly gets boring and we don't want to spend time there, we don't want to write. Because it doesn't even need to type. A touch or voice can make it happen. Stress levels have increased, intolerance has increased. Uh, they're throwing their tantrums. It takes a minute for them to get angry, get frustrated, get bored. Uh, ADHD, the attention deficit hyperactivity, that like it's it's increased to about 15% of children are reported having ADHD today. That's attention deficit. Just because they're exposed to high action, high speed action pretty early in their life, everything else gets boring and they want to be in action all the time and that's increasing hyperactivity. Beyond this, uh, friends, I would want to add two more things and I want you to be very careful listening to it because this is what we keep saying to our children but we don't realize the damage is far, far, far beyond what I've just shared. A uh, couple of areas where there's a damage, if you really compare the brain scan of a person who's addicted to drugs and a person who's addicted to screens their brain scans are same both drugs and screens overuse it has the same damaging impact on our brain and if you ask me i would say screens are more dangerous on two counts one screens are legal to get drugs, I still have to do something which is difficult, it's not really available. And then there's always a fear at the back of the mind that something will happen. But if you really look at screens, they're available. And the second bigger reason is that we as parents only hand it over to them. And sometimes as a reward, they get great marks, we give them a tab. They do something great in some sport, we give them a mark. So, we are giving it to them is actually we handing over the drug to them so that's one the second one is the the kind of wiring which is happening in their brains because of what they're getting out of the screens so what the screens are doing and social media is doing and smartphone is doing that it's developing a hard wiring our brain that anything we need in our life is available on a click of a button so for example, if I'm getting bored at 2 o'clock at night and I want to watch a movie, I can stream it in a second. I want to listen to some music, I can download it, stream it. I want to talk to a friend somewhere in US, somewhere in Australia, I can do it right now. If I want to order food, it will be available hot and cheaper, delivered at home within 30 minutes. If I want to order anything, it's available on a click of a button. So if you really see whatever is needed, required, it's right now available. I need to know what is happening in my school. I need to know what homework I missed. It's available. So anything and everything is available on a click of a button right now. But if you really see in life, critical things, important things of life, for example, relationships, love, career, money, which of this comes instantaneously all of that needs a lot of hard work needs you to be on a roller coaster be on a high be on a low you're in a job which is happening great and the next day you see the the company gets taken over it goes into bankruptcy and suddenly you don't have a job you go and your boss fights it out he shouts at you and you take it on and next day go back to the same job relationships love any great friends you have your own spouses your own loved ones we've had maximum fights with them fighting it out coming back again really going back making it up again fighting again and that's how we created our own great friends and families and and our relationship our, our experience with our own spouses is like that it's not a straight happy go lucky happy hunky dory place it's it's it, it takes a effort a lot of ups and downs before we really forge a great partnership now because everything is available on a click of a button our children are getting that even these are available 
simply and easily and what is happening in the world relationships are breaking divorce rates are increasing if you don't like somebody you say okay fine end with it and you go on to another one tu nahi to koi aur se children are uh, not children but young adults are moving out of their jobs like nobody's business they have a they don't like their boss they don't like their style somebody says no to you and they just chuck their job resign and move on and they think money is available easily half of the children i meet today are talking about what do you want to do i want to be a youtuber i want to upload stuff and i will earn from there and having no idea that this is a bubble it will burst before they turn adults so so that whole aspect that everything is available on the click of a button immediately is the biggest damage and as i'm creating this my only request is be present to it because it's not just eyes when we talk about our children we say aankhe kharab ho jati hai that's one of the very minimal thing which happens having said that this is a good this is a huge bane side of it there's a huge boon side of it let's look at that for a while because once i create this for people people feel that okay it's bad but currently i can tell you we can't even live without this instrument in our hand it's almost impossible it has easier and faster access to everything we need information stuff connections official mails official connects we are connecting right now like we are right now in a space where it's a uh, social distancing but we all can connect go through these programs learning can happening all that is happening right now just because of these screens and the net internet and the connections we have shopping it's a huge boon specifically for people like me who hate shopping it takes me a minute to buy anything for me and it's delivered next day in the morning before i wake up so all of that is available and cheaper i don't even have to go out i don't have to spend time i can do that on my bed while my travel time it's a great boon food can be ordered anything is available right now whatever i have a mood of i can order and get it right now and even for people who can't cook it's very easy i can do all my research there it helps in my studies whatever i want to research if i'm lost out on a classroom uh, online programs videos are available if i can't learn something one way the others are available free of cost the best of the tutors are putting their stuff on on, on the net it, it 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 there's a huge safety factor i give it to my children so i can uh, i can be in touch with them if they're going somewhere i know they're safe because they can call me immediately uh, elders speaking to your own parents speaking to people who are uh, old uh, looking after their health they on a click of a button can uh, order an ambulance speak to a doctor get their medicines delivered all that is happening and it monitors our health too like if you really see there is no way we can live our life if i ask any one of you would you be ready to stand in a queue to buy a train ticket for the entire day i remember when i was in college it used to take one full day to go and buy the ticket from calcutta to delhi how many of us will go to an airport to actually buy the tickets booking of hotels our uh, holiday plan the application of our passports the application for our licenses everything is so 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 smooth the entire business happens over there e-commerce happens over there we clearly cannot live without this and to make things worse or better what's the future the future of technology is that whether we like it or not whether we want it or not or whether we approve of it or not this is going to increase all these gadgets smartphones connectivity social media is all increasing it's getting faster cheaper better smaller <laughs> there's there's something which i keep sharing with parents now and i'm telling you that day is not too far when when you guys when people will go for deliveries of children to the hospital. and before the doctor would hand over the child to us they would say okay fine i put the chip inside this is her number 
you can go and do the naming uh, ceremony later so they would get a number before the name and maybe you will have to fill up in the form that which service provider do you want installed in their brain or it through their umbilical cord that day is not too far we don't even need a virtual handset to make it happen it will be like there inside our body so so my friends the the so is it a bane or a boon there's a very thin line and the answer to that thin line lies in and listen to this one very carefully am i using it or am i being used by it so am i using technology or is technology using me so till the time you're using it it's a boon when technology starts using you it's moving from the boon to the bane now if you are in a meeting if you are sitting with your parents if you are sitting with your children doing something important and there is a notification and your concentration your hand your eyes your brain goes to your instrument that's when you can realize that the future the technology is using you not you if you are going out for dinner and connecting with your friends virtually taking that selfie and checking in that has become more important than having a conversation with your own child or spouse or your parents that's the time you can say that this is using you if you are using this to feed your child that's an indication that the technology is using you your your child eats when there is a screen in front the screen is controlling their eating their sleeping if you get up in the morning and you look at the phone first before looking at your family and wishing them good morning consider that the technology has started using you so before moving to the next part be very very clear that it's about who is using you when i am using technology it's a boon when technology uses me it's a bane moving to the very second critical part and my request would be hang on there uh this is the most critical part of this uh, session and i can promise you this next 20 minutes will alter your relationship with screen addiction and how you can actually take it away from your own children not take it away from children but get them to manage it themselves we all say that our children are addicted to gadgets social media screens gaming whatever right to to address this part of it i would want you to go back to your own uh, childhood and bring to your mind what you used to love doing enjoy doing when you were 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 that age so some of you would say i'm sure in india which comes out of specifically the men and the boys is cricket so playing cricket to playing basketball to badminton to sports to just hanging around with friends uh and those old age games of pitthu and uh, gulli danda and kanche marbles reading drawing painting craft singing playing an instrument cycling climbing trees running around just take a minute and get present to those times when you were doing that in your childhood it could be anything i just gave you a list of what all you could be doing but it could be far 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 beyond that too so take 10 more seconds and really get present to what was happening when you were doing all that stuff and just take one activity for you right now and my request would be do this diligently right now for you to have real access to how can we make our children cloud of screens 
so as i hope each one of you has got some of the other activity and really got present to that times when we were playing around running around cricket football hockey basketball volleyball badminton running around cycling swimming doing all that stuff even craft even reading even all that stuff which you were doing so my question to you is while you were doing that how was your experience what were you getting out of it what was what was making you do it all the time we were having great fun doing it right it was so enjoyable we used to wait for that time Like coming back first from school, throwing your bag in one side and wanting to start that activity right now, right there. And for a lot of you, maybe that activity was part of the school too. It was very interesting. It used to hook us on for all the time. It was very, very thrilling. If we were playing cricket and we were not winning, the next day we would want and want to go there and win again, uh, score more runs, beat the other team. Uh, do more laps read faster read more books like you name it it was very very thrilling it was challenging we used to always try and do better even if it was kite flying even if it was something else we would want to do that better the next time get better at it try new stuff uh even cycling go faster go longer anything and everything we would want to challenge ourselves and it was great fun doing it and we were getting a lot of appreciation from our peers when we used to do good we used to get a lot of appreciation uh even from people in our family even from schools it used to be okay he's a great cricket player he's great to be he's a great singer he, he plays this instrument very well do all that stuff and and it used to give us a sense of achievement even if at school we used to say the parents or teachers are saying ye kuch nahi kar sakta uh you're good for nothing we would listen to all that stuff but when we were in this activity it used to give us a sense of achievement that yes i can do something i'm good at something uh we were always getting better and wanting to get better wanting to learn more about it and these activities were highly engaging engaging to the extent that we would forget it used to be dark and we used to keep playing cricket people used to call us we couldn't even hear them hunger thirst light day heat cold all of that just didn't matter because we were so highly engaged in that activity there was so much of excitement it was building our confidence every day and we were even getting recognition for that right so it was such a brilliant thing and yesterday a couple of people added a few more words into it there was satisfaction there was fulfillment there was enjoyment out there we were satisfied fulfilled contented doing all this stuff we were like in our own zone when we were there didn't want anybody to disturb us when we were there so moving forward i was just saying that our children are hooked on to gadgets and social media and we all think that's the truth let me repeat that we all think that it's the truth actually this is a myth i hope you know what a myth is and let me spend a minute in telling you what a myth is all about a myth is something which think it is true which we see it as true we believe it's true it even seems to be true because when we talk to everybody around we say our children are hooked on wo chhodta hi nahi hai they are always on this they are carrying it all the time ek minute milta hai they take it out so we all see that we all believe that we all think it is but my friends is something like that when the entire world used to think that the earth is flat but the earth was never flat people used to believe earth was flat and the day that myth broke people got to know that the earth is not flat it's round but a day before that it was seeming like flat people believed it like flat people operated like it's flat it was flat so i'm going to break a myth for you right now similar to something like the earth is flat and it's not children are not hooked on to gadgets and social media they are hooked on to the action and engagement the social media and the gadgets give them so they're hooked on to 
what they are getting out of it gadgets and social media and screens and gaming are all a medium they are all hooked on to this this entire list if you remember this is what exactly we were going through we were lying to get there we used to lie to our parents we used to hide and do this stuff we used to go beyond it used to waste our time more we knew that tomorrow is an exam and we are spending more time on it we'll do that we do everything to get this at that point of time also our children are getting this because when they are watching a series they are talking to each other that okay where are you what is happening there on a game then they are talking about okay which level have you reached there is a lot of excitement thrill enjoyment engagement talking sense of achievement happening in them in their world when they are on their games and social media and screens they are comparing their levels they are comparing the 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 likes they have the followers they have and it matters to them as much as this used to matter to us in our times so coming back this is not what they are hooked on to they are hooked on to the action and the engagement all this is providing them so now what what do we do here if i ask you a simple question if all of this what is there right now that getting better fun recognition thrill mm-hmm. excitement enjoyment confidence appreciation sense of achievement engagement contentment satisfaction happiness how many of you and for one minute forget that they're getting it out of screens how many of us want our children to spend maybe their entire life in this experience i'm sure each one of you will say all the time mm-hmm. i want my child to be in this experience all the time in their life completely in this experience 24 by 7 not because of screens but yes if you if you take away the medium for a minute i want him to be here i want her to be here all, all the time and they also want this right and we all want that So what's the way forward? So I want you to walk, I want to walk you through the process one by one. If you want to note this down, note this down. Uh, you can send a message to us, and we will send these slides to you if you want to use them with your own children. And by the way, the this this all will be available with you on our Facebook page and our V's Facebook page. So what do we do now after understanding this? The first thing we need to do is. acknowledge it for ourselves what they're getting out of gadgets youtube and social media that list which i just created with you i can send it to you they are getting all of that the fun the excitement the engagement the achievement the, f- the satisfaction the happiness the pleasure the recognition the confidence all of that they are getting out of this is the first thing we need to acknowledge and this is what is making them who don't do the medium which is it which is giving them this the second step has two parts to it the first part is sit with your child and first acknowledge this acknowledge it for them that today i got to know that now i have realized that this is what you're getting out of screens this is what you're getting out of social media this is what is you're getting out of your gaming what do you think mm-hmm. your child would say mm-hmm. if you share this first because till now we've been talking about don't do this that is a damage stop this this will happen your eyes will get damaged you're not studying you're not doing this you're not going out stop this stop this stop this and suddenly you go and talk to your child about the benefits of the gadgets and the social media i can promise you they going to love it they will suddenly understand that oh wow today my dad my mom understands me today she comes to know today he come to know that yes 
this is what i'm getting and that is why i'm there they'll be all ears they would want to listen to you and talk to you so make sure you do the first two step before you move to the third the second part of the second step is ask them and the and the word is asking them not telling them asking them about the negative impact i can promise you they all know that actually before asking for the negative impact you can tell them that you want them to be in this space all the time we want all of that for them all the time not from gadgets definitely because that's a huge 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 damaging impact on them but we want them to be in this space you can share that i want you to be in this space so now let's also talk about what is the negative impact they know a lot they would share it a lot they've been told at school we've been telling them ask them to articulate it and add those values add those words which i just shared add more which they don't know talk about the impact is equal to drugs the impact of the brain wiring which is happening and this whole virtual socialization their thoughts their life is so disconnected from the real world tell them about that if they have not said it so have a discussion about the negative and at that point of time ask them do you want the positive they would say yes we all want them and tell them that i also want it for you then ask do you want the negative what if the positives can come without the negative would you want that they would say yes they would say no to negative nobody wants to damage themselves nobody wants to damage their own brain provided they can get what they want and not be damaged so tell them we want the positives for you we don't want the negatives for you and you also don't want the negatives for yourself and you want the positives now comes the critical third step the third step would be and before we get into the third step i want you to really right now think for a minute and see how many you would always know okay each one of you would know at least one more activity at least one more area at least one more thing which gives the same amount of pleasure fun engagement excitement to your child it could be something else it could be a sport it could be some games it could be something else it could be board games it could be talking to people it could be meeting people it could be art and craft it could be playing some musical instrument singing something or the other i'm sure you would know that now what you have to do and listen to this very very carefully we are not talking about reducing screen time so for example i'll just take an example let's take an example that your child has say from 3 pm to 10 pm so they come back from school at 3 and they sleep at 12 10 they have 7 seven hours available for screens what you have to do is pick up this activity this activity we just thought of which gives them the same amount of pleasure happiness satisfaction and the enjoyment into their schedule so from 3 to 7 add another activity this activity will give them the same things they're getting out of social media when you add another activity in their current time of say 3 to 10 what will happen to the rest of the time the rest of the time available for gadgets is going to reduce automatically so we are not talking about reducing screen time we are not asking us to chhod de we are not saying lessen it we are saying add one more activity which is as much fun as much pleasure as much engaging into their current schedule add it the time on social media the time on gadgets is automatically going to reduce now as i said this there's a huge caveat a huge catch right here for you guys you know what happens and i can i can, I'm, i'm sure a lot of you would have gone there right now uh to so be true to yourself and let me know how many of you thought two things okay the first sushant i have done this before i've sent them to tennis classes cricket classes guitar piano 
drawing, dancing. I've sent them to these classes before. They used to love it. But after a couple of classes, they don't want to go there anymore. And others who haven't done this before would have got this thought in their mind. Oh, let me send them to this class. Let them me send them to learn this. Let me send them to do this. Let me send them to do this. And we are thinking, where all can we send our children? Now let me tell you one thing. This is the biggest pitfall of this activity. Sending them into a class, sending them into an academy, sending them to a hobby class is not going to work. It will fail. And hang on, there is an answer somewhere there, but that's not the answer. So. If you thought of putting them into a class and you thought of many kiya hua pehle, hang on, this is not what I'm talking about. This is not what is going to work and that's the reason it's not worked also. To get an answer to this question, I will ask you a question. When you were getting all this fun, recognition, thrill, excitement, while you were doing all those activities in your childhood, the cricket, the football, the hockey, the playing around with friends, pit two, flying kites, marbles, dancing, singing, crafts, knitting, whatever you were doing, reading. Which class were you in? You know, we were in no classes. There was nobody teaching us. There was nobody looking at us of what we are doing, whether we are doing it right, have we got the grip right, are we moving our feet right, are we playing it right, is this decision right, nothing. We were on our own. This time was completely free time and completely unstructured time. Nobody was watching us, nobody was telling us what to do, nobody was telling where we are wrong, nobody was telling us how to improve. We were doing it because we were loving it. This was our free time. This was me time. This was the time for me to unwind. I don't want somebody looking at me telling them what is right and what is wrong. This was enjoyment. This was me being me. Even if I don't know how to hold that, I don't care. I want to play because I want to play. I want to be there out there with my friends because that is what was giving me pleasure and fun. So friends, this activity which we need to put in for our children, which we have to add into their day-to-day -day activities, their day-to-day -day schedule, needs to be free and unstructured. You know, our children have no free time. They don't have any unstructured time. Just to give you a quick example of it, the summer vacations, for most of us used to be going to our nanny's place the maternal grandparents that used to be one one and a half months of it and what were we doing there i'm sure you would have said nothing a lot of you would have said you were not doing anything and that's what it was you were doing nothing we used to get up in the morning do nothing we used to have our lunch and then do nothing. Then have dinner and then do nothing. And then sleep off. Our kids have timetables done up much before their summer breaks arrive. Getting up time, doing this, going to this class, doing all that stuff, getting into this, do that learning, don't utilize that time. We are so paranoid about utilizing that one and a half months that we get it so structured and we make it so structured for them they don't have any free time they don't have any me time they don't have time to unwind this is required and if you remember most of our learnings of our life used to happen during this time the way we learned to be with our friends we made friends for life there we fought with them we had fights even physically fought, we did that, we came back, we created those friendships again. We knew how to 
save ourselves, to hide ourselves, to strategize, running around. All that life skills we learned when we were free and it was unstructured. If I ask you a question, what did you all learn at school? I'm sure you will not say math, science, physics or accounts. Most of our learnings which we remember from our school used to be non-academic. The time we spend with our friends, the time we spend managing our teachers and principals and the bullies and those people who were difficult, interacting with all the people from all religions, all the walks of life, the didis and the ayas and the and the maids and the principal and the other parents running around all that is valuable that is what life skills are all about and our children today do not have that time to do that I'm sure right now at this point of time a few of you would be saying we have a big problem here if we leave them free and don't structure their time they come back to us saying mommy I'm bored Papa, I'm bored. And then we have to look for stuff. We have to keep them busy because they don't get bored. You know, this getting bored is another big myth in our life. Boredom is great. All the inventions, all the discovery, all the creativity, all the thinking, all the new things which have gotten created in the world have gotten created because people were bored. It's only that time when we are bored, when the mind is empty, that we can use the mind to think creatively, to think of stuff to do. When it's applied all the time and structured, we don't have thinking time, we don't have creativity time. So if your child says I'm bored it's a time to celebrate and say okay fine now find out ways out of your boredom create something new do something for yourself I can share what I have done for my kids like my children are right now they'll be 20 and 14 in a few months and they've gone through the entire time of being a toddler to a preteen to a teen and one of them has actually gone out of their teens too. Having stuff available at work, at, at, at home. Your stuff for your craft, your art, your paints, your colors, your cartridges, your uh, paper, your uh, canvases, musical instruments. Uh, be it all. Uh, there, are, there are scientific kids, kits available. It's called a pitara. Go search on it on the net and you will find it. All that is available. So when they get free time, I said, okay, fine. Go to that Almira of yours. Open it up and do what you want. Be destructive. Be something. And in all those times, amazing creations happen. And I'm sure while you are seeing it, a uh, lot of stuff on your WhatsApp is coming. That what these children are creating these days, being confined to their places. Their drawings, their paintings their videos, whatever they're creating is, is, is brilliant and that happens when they get bored. So friends, boredom is great. Actually one of the uh, fathers, I don't know, one of the parents who shared with me a few uh, months back what her parent, her father used to do. So he said I used to go to my father and say, Papa I'm bored. Uh, and, his, and her dad used to say, Are you getting bored? Oh, that means your brain is lost somewhere. Let's let's go quickly find your brain. Let's go find a brain. Let's go to find a brain. And they start playing this game of finding the brain. And she remembered her father saying that. And that itself became a game for them. So, don't fear boredom. Let them get bored. And let them create something in the boredom for themselves. It's not your job to make, to entertain them. It's not your job to find stuff so that they don't get bored and they're productively involved. They need to learn from life. They need to learn from what life hits them and let them free unstructured time. 
so friends uh, let me just go over it once more is the process and i can share this with you acknowledge the first the steps let me just repeat it acknowledge what they're getting out of these gadgets the the things they get the the, the things they want the things which is great for them the things we want them to be in acknowledge that with them tell them that this is what you're getting and i now get it then ask about the negative impact tell them that you want the positives tell them you also don't want the negatives have this conversation acknowledge them and tell them i want the positives mm-hmm. of it for you then schedule another activity tell them that if we have to reduce the negatives if we have to lower down the negatives let's bung in one more activity we are not talking about reducing screen time we are asking to bung in more activity add another activity which gives them the same positives add that and make sure that it's not structured it's free time unstructured time they're doing it all on their own and after later if for example one of your kid comes and says mom i want to be now improve my cricket improve my painting improve my playing the instrument that's the right time to put them into those coaching classes those support classes those teachers because now they want to improve for improvement we'll have to go to somebody who can coach us or somebody who is better than us so that is the time and tell them that this is not going to be easy because this person is going to be very critical of you and push you for it so that's the time to go right not right now uh and one more thing which could happen to you is you can say i want my child to go he wants to go but there's nobody else to play with him so friends that's where i say this is not this cannot be done alone parvarish couldn't have done alone you can't do it alone speak to your friends speak to your neighbors they are all struggling in this area they also want their children to go to the park and they're not able to do that if you can't have this conversation send them to us ask them to come to our pages and watch this videos this will be available on facebook go watch it again ask them to watch it go through it again so that we have more people just imagine in your society in your locality if 10 12 15 parents get together and understand this whole thing those kids will be in the park we will have those times again that children making those noises in the park was so much of fun we and you together can do it and my request is so don't just look at it yourself this has to be a collective effort we have to work together to make it happen and there is a dire need to make it happen not right now once the stuff gets open obviously right now there's social discuss- distancing happening let's wait for it then support our children to get in the park let's support other parents this addiction this menace is eating up our children damaging them to a point where it's irretrievable it's as bad as drugs we need to work together and make it happen for each other so the last thing which i wanted to tell you about screen time and i hope you can sh- see the screen in front of you i'll wait for 30 seconds before it comes up uh, there's a cartoon right now here a lady sitting with her child speaking to another lady sitting with her child and the lady with the phone in her hand with his with the son with the phone in her hand is asking the other lady how do you get your child to read books <laughs> if you can see this on your screens you will know the answer for yourself yes you are an example this is your biggest power so friends as i said whatever i said for your children today i'm sure each one of you also has activities you used to love doing and you've kept it aside my request would be pick it up today Mm-hmm. and these times are the best times you have more time pick them up today so that by the time this lockdown gets over that activity comes back into your life spend time doing it could it be writing could it be reading you could be writing poems playing an instrument singing dancing whatever you used to love you can say that outdoor sports are not allowed 
शोर बट क्रिकेट कैन बी प्लेड इन अ वेरी स्मॉल रूम क्रिकेट कैन बी प्लेड ऑन योर टेरिस यू डोंट हैव टू हिट हार्ड यू कैन यूज अ प्लास्टिक बॉल यू कैन यूज यू कैन इनोवेट एंड डू स्टाफ सो दिस इज अ ग्रेट टाइम टू ब्रिंग दोज एक्टिविटीज बैक टेल दोज स्टोरीज टू योर चाइल्ड एंड गेट दम इन्वॉल्व इन इट they may not get involved in your activity but seeing you getting involved in something you love they would get more ideas they've been seeing us on our screen so much we feel that what we are doing is more productive and they don't need to do it remember your office email your call with your colleague it could be even a official call is as important as the text message or the chatting or the phone call your child is doing to their friends we may not think we may think it's trivial but for them it's as important so before we close today uh, i just want to give you a couple of things which which has really worked for us the uh, tips which i got from someone and i used it for our children and my request would be these are doables you can do it right now today starting today and my request would be just do it uh, have these conversations think about this all but a couple of things which you can right now do take away all screens from a tv to a tab to a phone from your dining area no phones allowed no tv allowed no media allowed when you are on a dining table make fun time talking time chatting time enjoyment time You want to play some music? Play some music. You want to light some candles? Light some candles. Make it, make it beautiful. Get your children involved in setting up the table. Share jokes. Talk about your life. Talk about their life. Enjoy that time as a family time. You want to play cards at that time? After the dinner, play cards with them. Play some board game at that time. Make food time, family time, enjoyment time, screen less time, and make it as a rule. try it out it will be very very difficult at the start you will have to put your foot down maybe involve other people in the family to help you out but do it and i'm telling you this is so beautiful this is so enjoyable i can talk from my personal experience then the other thing is right now it's not possible when you go out for dinners when you go out for family dinners i'm sure we carry all the phones If there are four people going, there are times when we are carrying five. Four. What is the need for when you go out for dinner? Emergencies. By the way, they never happen. But just in case it happens, keep one phone. Do not take more than one phone when you go out for family dinners. When you go out for meeting your uh, relatives, going for a party, don't take more than one phone. That's enough in case of an emergency. anybody to contact you anybody for you to contact you want to order a cab for yourself just one phone and that phone can be yours your wife's your son's your daughter's doesn't matter there's no need to click those photographs check in nobody cares by the way all those likes which you get on your social media for wherever you checked in and checked out or your selfies are social pressure even we when you use them and you like them you don't like them they 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 create more jealousy than than pleasure and and connectivity so my request would be be with the person you are and not with the person you're not with so friend just to put this all together and do a quick recap is our screens our social media our gadgets our smartphones a boon or a bane the boat and the answer lies in who is using whom when we use social media when we use gadgets gadgets it's a boon when the gadgets and the technology has started using us it's a bane the whole conversation about what are they getting out of it acknowledge with your child that there are a lot of positives which is keeping them there and add another activity 